suit. Well, I said, take one of mine. So I gave him my best suit I had. On a, it was one, what I bought from Europe, see? Yeah, a German, a good German yeah, suit. Yeah, and I gave it, I never got the suit back. <laughs> what was it, What was the fellow's name? First oh, name? Uh, his first name was Fred, too. Oh, boy. But uh, he went to a dance, and that was the end of it. He says he lost the suit. They took it away from him, although so I don't, I don't remember what, what happened. That was in northern Alberta, too, was it? Or? That was in, uh, in Alberta. Yeah, sure. yeah. Well, when you came over, the first place you settled was Saskatchewan, right? No, no. Oh, Alberta? Alberta. Oh. Edmonton, close to Edmonton. Yeah. It was the town Millet. Millet, Alberta. That's, that's spelled that's M I L L E T. Yeah, M it's Millet, yeah. still uh, between uh, Edmonton and uh, Petoskey. Mm-hmm. You know. Well? That's for a friend of mine, a shoemaker. He was there. Yeah. And he invited you to come over? Well, him on his brother. Yeah. But the, b- the brother was double cross. He was a married man in the old country, and I was single. Uh huh. And he was very jealous of his uh, uh, wife. And here on a trip over here, he fooled around with all these girls where he could sit hold of. Mm-hmm. And and he was married. Yes, and he was married. His wife was still in the old yeah. country. And you and were single. I was single, and I know these things, and he was scared I would tell his wife. Oh. So one night he comes to me, visits me on the farm, and he stood in front of me and shaken to be the dickens with his arms, and Uh-oh. I says, what's the matter with you? Oh, nothing, nothing. I found out he had a gun in his pocket, and a kind of a week later his wife came. Oh. And you he know, he was scared that I would talk to his yeah, wife yeah. about his doings with all these women, yeah, yeah. which I never would have done. Yeah, right. Yeah. But that was his business. Yeah. yeah, but he was he was scared. Yeah. So I, uh, his brother talked him out of it. Yeah. You know, he said, for goodness sake, don't be crazy fool. Yeah. And so on. But okay, now back to that uh, 2535 you were telling me about where yeah. you were... You said that it was so accurate that yeah, you could absolutely. shoot nails. Nails in the wall, I tell you that's the truth. And I was a dead shot. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. When I hold something on it, that was absolutely true. Yeah. There was yeah. no such thing like missing. Yeah. Them days. My eyes were good. I had a steady hand, you know. Uh-huh. You know what I did last year? Yeah. I missed my deer. No. Oh. A great big deer. Yes, but, you know, here, here's the problem. I could only see, like, on the shoulder, yeah. just a little bit of the shoulder in between these trees. Yeah. But normally, I can shoot heads off a of grouse. Yeah. And yeah, I missed that big That's one mistake. Maybe it was the shell. You, never you know, know what it was? Yeah. I sent the scope away, you know, a glass oh. telescopic yeah. sight. Yeah. I sent that away, and the darn thing was off. Oh. The factory said it was loose or something inside. Yeah. Causing parallax. Have you yeah. ever heard of parallax? No. And the parallax means that the crosshairs looked like this. Yeah. It looked like it was right on, but in reality they were over yeah. here. Yeah. What, that's the trouble with glass sights. You know, a guy that uses <coughs> iron sights is way ahead. Yeah. I had the trouble with the one I bought from Eaton's mm-hmm. years ago. I mean, when I first came, that's my first one I bought here. And when I shot at a deer, and I shot once, twice, three times, missed it. Then I came to the idea, oh, you have to shoot the gun in first, see? Yeah, sighted, and then, yeah. yeah. And the gun was out three yards by 100 <laughs> meters. 100. At 100 meters? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's um, way too was, far off. Yeah. 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 A deer looks big, Yeah. but there's a lot more of the world around him. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of air around a deer. Then I shot a deer with the same gun. Yeah. I only saw the hindquarters of the deer. That's all I could see. Mm-hmm. And I shot it, and he sat down, and he couldn't walk away. And you went over there and finished it. Yeah. Well, then I had to get your horn side. Wrestled him down. You wrestled him? Yeah. 
I got him on the horn to turn yeah, the neck yeah. and cut his throat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he didn't get you. He didn't kick you. Well, I was prepared for that. Oh, I had little experience with all these things. Yeah. You know, I took the horn. I took the head down and twisted it around mm -hmm. so that he couldn't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Then the deer has an awful strength when when you leave his head alone. You know. Yeah. But in the minute you twist the yeah. neck. Is like a stock, like a calf. Yeah. If you can get a calf. Same thing. Yeah, you get a calf twisted yeah. heavy. No, I was, uh, I was lucky that day. Well, that 3030 there, you see in that picture? Yeah. I haven't even shot it yet. I don't even know where it shoots. Is that right? Isn't that funny? Yeah. I bought that gun from an old school chum of mine. Yeah. In a but they are good. They yeah. are, they're good. not when you keep them in shape. Yeah, know. right. I mean, they are dead on. Uh, I don't know. I never shot for years out of a gun. I don't know if I ever can hit anything anymore. Oh, you don't lose that. Yeah, but beside the eyes, that's oh, the point. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you have the eyes no more, forget mm -hmm. But I used to be good. I, gu I guarantee it for people say, you know, I went with a with a fellow to the uh, to Little Creek was winter, you know, mm -hmm. and was ice on the creek. And we walked through there, and on top of the bank there was a big tree. There was an owl, owl sitting on top there, mm -hmm. and uh, he says, "Well, these damn owls uh, take all the chickens in them." Yeah, right. They yeah, might as well shoot. They are the great horned owls. Yeah. The ones with the feathery tuft on the yeah. top of their head, yeah. So I said, Rich, I you want me to yeah. shoot it. He says the I two was I says, You will see. And I shot it in I made twenty two. Oh gee. Yeah. And free and no No, no rest, yeah. No. Yeah. I mean there was there was no such thing that I could miss anything. Yeah. yeah. Well but you probably had a reputation in the area. People knew you were a good no. shot. No, no, no. I never bragged about it. The, oh, the oh. trouble is with me. Like lots of people, when they are doing something and they're good at it, they're bragging about yeah. it. Yeah. And I never did. Yeah. It wasn't my way. Yeah. I mean, I talk about it now, but years ago, when I was good in shooting, I never. I went on a turkey shoot. I uh -huh. had four turkeys. You won four. Yeah, they didn't sell me any more shots. Yeah? No. <laughs> I guess not. That was... Was that here in this area here? No, no. That was in Alberta? Yeah. Yeah? I think it was Saskatchewan. In Vitaskevin. No, it was Alberta. Vitaskevin, I think it was. Mm -hmm. They written, didn't want to shoot me any... <laughs> I don't blame them. You were probably chasing the customers away. Yeah. But the other guys we want to shoot. Just shot and shot. Yeah. And <laughs> missed. But uh, I couldn't miss. Yeah. There was no such yeah. thing. Yeah, let's forget about these. You want you want to hear a funny one? Yeah. My sister, you see. My dad likes to play the organ like Bob there. That's that yeah. picture there. Yeah. Anyway, my sister uh, is named Anne. Yeah. Okay. My so, so my sister was Anne too. Yeah? yeah. Yeah, I had a sister with Anne. Anyway, my uh, brother-in-law, yeah. her husband, is a pretty good rifle shot. You know, yeah. He reloads his own ammunition and everything yeah. like that. And my sister uh, one time went out, and they were having a target shooting contest. Yeah. You probably can guess what happened. Anyway, my brother-in-law said, why don't you try it? Yeah. So Ann picked up the, it was a thirty odd 6 yeah. a big rifle, you know. Yeah, I know. And uh, he said, go ahead, try it, you know, so. It's a, it was a military one that goes bang, bang, you know, automatically yeah. each time you pull the trigger. So she shot eight times, bang, 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 you know. And she never shot my guns very much. A few times, maybe the BB yeah. gun or the twenty two. And then he picked up the gun, loaded it up again, and shot another target. Yeah. They went up there and checked. Yeah. And she had shot a better target than he had. <laughs> it was a better score. And his nose was so bent out of shape, you know, because yeah. he figured he was such, <laughs> he was really miffed, you know. <laughs> That's funny when that thing, when something like that happens. Yeah, I know. I know Carl's going to do that to me one of these days. 
he'll probably do the same thing. This reminds me of There's an old picture, huh? Yeah, that was. That was family. Yeah, this is me, my dad. Oh yeah. And four sisters. Uh huh. Yeah, in here. Was that in the old country? Yeah. Yeah. What year do you suppose? Around. Oh. Isn't it on there? In the back? No. Might be on the photo. Inside. Yeah. Let's see. It's not important. No. That was... 1900? I was... No, wait a minute. I was... I'm on here. You look about 25, maybe. No, I wasn't that old. Say 20 years old. Yeah. So I... It could be 1920, 19... Oh, okay. Around mm -hmm. about that time. Mm -hmm. This here is... The girl from my son in Newfoundland. Oh yeah, that he married? No, she she's not married. She gave up marriage. Oh. She wants she wants to be career career girl. Oh okay, you know. yeah. She uh, she's a nice looking kid. Mm -hmm. And this is there's the old beer wagon. Yeah, from the brewery in, when I started in the brewery in Saskatchewan. Uh huh. Were you a brewmaster? No, I was a cellar master. Oh, the cellar master. Yeah. But uh, they, they don't give you any papers as the cellar master. Oh, I see. You had to look after things, huh? Yeah, that, that's me. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, I had, uh, I was in the cellar, and I had the responsibility over all the beer. You had to keep track of it. Oh yes. Um, and walk it over and do the filtration and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an important job. The, the best paid job in the buoy. Better than the beer master. No, no. The beer master is the boss. Oh, no, okay. Now, this is... There you are. That's me, yeah. my wife, and these two boys I got. Yeah. But they were still young looking. They were both. The one is... This is my dad here. Mm -hmm. What's that, an iceberg? That's the iceberg that came over from when, when I came over with the boat from... There, there it was, floating yeah. around beside yeah. your ship. Is that the Titanic? Uh, that's the boat I came over with, no. Oh. This is the house I built, 27 days. You built a house in Myself. 20... 27 days. Says 27 days. They must have been 20 hour days. Yeah, well, that was day or night. I never slept. Oh, gee. And Where was that? In Saskatchewan? In, 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 in Saskatchewan. Mm -hmm. The buoy, they made bets besides the, the boomaster on, on all these officials that they could see the house. Mm -hmm. And they, they bet that I wouldn't finish the house to that in that time. And they lost all their bets. <laughs> Did you have any money bet? No, too? no, no, not me. They did it between themselves. Oh, they themselves. did it, yeah, yeah. So uh, there was no fixing it. They did it, uh, they this took it on themselves. This was the picture when I came over mm -hmm. the boat. How many people were on the boat? Oh, I don't know, 1,200, I think. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, to the new country. I'll bet that gave you a little bit of... Uh, yeah. Were you a little bit anxious when you came over, wondering what you were getting into? I was a fighting little bass. Oh, oh so it didn't matter. On the doesn't matter where I came. Yeah. You know, but I never came with my fighting ideas in any troubles. Oh I yeah. Had. You you were just gonna make a go of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a sister of mine. And these two girls here. Mm -hmm. They're now all. These two girls, they're all married millionaires. That's why. That's my first fishing trip in, in Saskatchewan. And that's a little baby when, when he was born. Yours? Yeah, my son. Your oldest son. Yeah. Was this a uh, lake trout? Yeah, that was a... A laker? A, a trout. Yeah, yeah, gray trout, they yeah. call them sometimes, yeah. Is that your first car? Yeah, it's my car, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these are people here from 
Grotesque from the... From oh, sure, this is over where you were, Allison Court. Yeah, that is. Mm -hmm. That's in town here in Princeton, yeah. yeah. Where did you build this one? That was a bunkhouse. We oh. moved, you know. I used to have, on the corner of I was on the farm there. Hmm. I'll show you where I built the house after. Oh, uh oh, grandkids, huh? Yeah, that's our grandchildren. Here. Yeah. She was born. That's my older sister. She died last year. Mm -hmm. The old battle axe. The old battle axe? Yeah, she was a battle axe. Mm. I mean, she was a good person. I never would have called her any names. Oh, okay. But I mean, the way she was, see, for her, there was only her doings going right. Mm. Anybody else did something for her, that was no mm. good. Mm. Grandchildren. Yeah. Is that you with one that's of yours? That's me with mine, one of mine. Yeah. yeah. That's my first job on the farm, you know, when I came over in Canada. Did they wear pants like that in Germany? Did you have uh, overalls with those straps on them in Germany? No. They didn't have Never them. Seen them yeah. They call those Oshkosh Bagosh. Yeah. Oshkosh overalls? Yeah. Yeah. You know they've got those for little kids? Oh, are they cute. Yeah, you put, well, you put those on those little kids. They might have that today, too. Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah, but they do. Mine yeah. time it wasn't. Yeah. This was my son's first mm -hmm. baby. She's now 30 years old. <laughs> time flies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they kids. Your two boys. The one is my boy, the old. This is. Allison Court in Saskatchewan. Allison Court? Uh, or what court? Yeah, Allison Court here, here in Canada. Oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah. That building there. Yeah, yeah, that's where you were the manager. Oh, I was for years in there. Yeah, yeah. These are all pitch. These are people I used to know. Who's the guy with the bony legs? Yeah, he's a uh, he's husband of this girl. Oh. We'll talk about the weather out there. There's, look at the beautiful leaves yeah. on those maple trees. Yeah. You know, that tells me something. Winter's coming. <laughs> now the color is nice, man. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know, what's, what is it, a maple? Yeah, that's a maple. You know what I used to do with those? I'd take and I'd put those leaves between two pages yeah, in the book. Yeah, I did the same. And, and they'd be flat. Yeah. And then later on, you'd look at them and you'd remember. Yeah, I did the same did thing you do when the same? I was in school. Did you do it with flowers too? Yeah, with yeah. flowers and put them with two big books. Yeah, to the uh -huh. And press them. They were nice. They kept for years. Ever. Yeah, right. I've even sent them overseas to uh, yeah. people, you know. Oh. Do you know the name of a potato that uh, grows in Germany that is yellow colored? It grows and it's got a yellow uh, mm. center. It looks like it's buttered. Is it a sweet potato? Yeah, it's really good. It's not a sweet potato. It tastes sweet, but it's... Yeah, but you asked me too much there. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I can... Yeah. Anyway, I got some. This guy that came from Germany gave me these seeds. Yeah. Seed potato? Oh, they're <coughs> good. It kind of fooled you. You know, I'm kind of chubby, so I shouldn't eat too much butter. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> so these potatoes, they're yellow anyway, and yeah. they're sort of sweet tasting. Yes, I know. And they're not very big. They're just a... They call them sweet potatoes. They do, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to add anything to them to, no, to make them taste good. They have them over there. Did they ever try to take your cap? Well... I, I found that when I was teaching that the kids would... If somebody was wearing a cap, yeah, it was a it was a contest to see who could get it. Yeah, <laughs> they, uh, and then they hide it or throw yeah, it up on the roof. They couldn't do it with me on account of there was all the kids they wore the the the, the colored cap. Oh, they all had them. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. See, you never go without that cap to school. Mm -hmm. You know, them days was not such thing that you go without anything mm -hmm. protection on your head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Were you flying here, or is that a new boat? Oh, that's a new boat. No, that's a boat that's the Saskatchewan River. Oh, yeah. My son is that. Oh, yeah. He still lives there, then. 
Well, he left snow in Calvary. This is all country here, the yeah. Where's all the deer? The deer? Yeah. You got pictures of the deer you shot? I don't think so. No. I didn't see you shoot much deer. You didn't? I Moose? shot, no. I shot one, two, three deer all my life on account of I didn't eat the deer. Oh. And I never shot anything but I didn't eat. Yeah. I didn't believe That's in that. That's a good that. policy, yeah. I didn't believe that. I want to tell you about something I shot that I ate. Yeah, what was it? A bobcat. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, I was out deer hunting and I saw yeah. this bobcat. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, yeah, I better get it, you know. So I shot that thing. A bobcat is more dangerous than a cougar. Really? You bet. A good thing I hit it square. A bobcat huh? attacks you, jumps out of a tree right in your neck. Mm. Which a cougar never does. Mm -hmm. Cougar runs away from you. Mm. But a bobcat does that. I know a fella who told me the story, and he says, I show you. And he showed me his arms. Okay. Arm where the bobcat bit him. He took the bobcat and pressed it oh, yeah. to death. You know. Oh, gee. And it was scratching away all the yeah, time. Yeah. Oof. That's I'd hate to do that. Yeah, well, but he That'd was. be like me handing you a ch uh, chainsaw that was running. Yeah. <laughs> and saying, here, hang on to it. <laughs> he was uh, he was a tough customer, you know. But I, I better tell you what I did with that bobcat. I shot it, and then I said, John, what'd you do that for? You know, yeah. that bobcat was out in the woods here. And I thought, well, I better bring it to school. So I brought it to school and showed the kids. Yeah. And one of the kids said to me, you know, that looks pretty good. The meat on that looks pretty good. And I, I'd been reading about Indians. Yeah. And they like bobcat. Yeah. Indian. <laughs> so he said, oh, I'll take some home and cook it. Yeah. <laughs> so I gave him just one, one leg, you know, yeah. the back leg. And I, I said, okay, bring that home. And he brought it home. His name was Filio. Yeah. I'll never forget this boy. And, and he took it home and he said, the next day he says, I want more. <laughs> My mother wants more. Yeah. So I still had the remains, so he took the other three legs and part of the back. And he took it home, and the next day he came with a paper plate. Is that right? And it was full of meat. Yeah. And guess what kind of meat? It was bobcat. Yeah. And so I put it on the table where the teachers ate, Yeah. and I walked out of there. I didn't want to answer any questions, so I just left it there, and yeah. the teachers gobbled it up. I came back later, and the plate was empty. So I waited a couple days, and I told them about the bobcat, and, the meat. Yeah. and some of them looked green, you know, <laughs> and, they, and others wanted some more. They thought it was pretty good. This is the girl who was living where I rescued for a guy, you know, who wanted to go out with her. And mm, okay. And I that's a that's a picture of you. Yeah, right? he painted that in two hours. Mm. He, he said, "Sit down here." Yeah. Where is the picture now? Did the picture is with my son. I oh, just yeah. took this as a, uh -huh. as a, a photo of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. What kind of a camera do you have, Fred? Oh, I got a little one. Uh, I'll show it to you after. Okay, yeah. Now there's something. You're holding something there. What's this? A shotgun? Yeah. Did I'm you hunt in Alberta? Hunting geese? Yeah, we, we went, what, what gun is it? I, I went hunting there for the people, you know. To sh when I shot something about at home, I never eat stuff what I shoot. I never did. Very seldom that I, I might have taken a little bit from the grouse or so, but mm -hmm. I wasn't crazy about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't. This is Alberta. More? Uh, Alberta. Yeah, yeah. You're fishing there. Yeah. That's that same picture. It's that same picture yeah. you had earlier. That big lake trout. Yeah, that is. In a big lake, you had to go four hours with a boat to get in that lake. Oh, wow. Yeah. Kingsmere in Saskatchewan. Kingsmere. Yeah. It's not so easy to get there. Is this BAMP? No, that's. That building there? 
Snoop Ben. Oh. I forget my one. I think it's Saskatoon. Oh. Maybe it's the government building, huh? Yeah, it's one of them. Uh huh. Big building. We went on a trip, you know, uh -huh. and we made these pictures. Uh -huh. Kids were still small. Yeah. Yeah. Did one of your boys go in the army there? No, this is a friend of mine. Oh. He went in the army and he shot there too. He never came back. It was during the war, you know. Second World War. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice kid. I liked him very much. After the door. This is Fritz. This is, is that your nickname? Interesting. Pardon? Is that your nickname? What? Fritz? Fritz? That was my name when I was born. Oh, yeah? You know, they called me, they gave me a new name here, Fritz. Yeah, yeah. But they, this was an article that somebody wrote uh, about you? Yeah, this is, this is from my, uh, what's it, Fritz, Fritz, I forget, Fritz Sellerman. When I was first Sellerman in, in, in that movie when I was fishing. Uh huh. He, the, the guy, he wrote an article about me. Uh huh. It's very nice writing. Yeah. Yeah. This is my first driver license. I uh, had in, in Germany. 1924. Yeah. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Was it a hard test? Did you have to show him that you, you could drive? Right. <laughs> it was harder than here. I mean, huh? here yeah, you. You could send your father-in-law for a driver license. Yeah, right. Buy it for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Twenty-five cents. Is right. Yeah. Such one. Yeah. But over there, you went to the milk boy. You had to know things, and when you don't know things, he says you come back next year. Yeah. One year so later. Absolutely. Oh. I there was there was guy in besides me. He says I see you next year. Mm -hmm. He couldn't answer him a proper no. I tell you what he did. He stopped in the grocery store, and this guy was driving. Mm -hmm. And he said, go and get me a couple of cigars in the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And the guy, we were all in the car there. Yeah. We didn't stop, we didn't, he didn't stop the motor. Uh oh He left it running. He left it running. Oh, oh, yeah. And he comes back, uh -oh. says, <laughs> you come back after, in a year. <laughs> that was a, that, that was a check. Was Put just to, there. Yeah, just to see what he would do. Yeah. Mm. And the funny part was, I was bragging about my driving. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I never was sitting behind the steering wheel when I made my examination. When I made it. Well, how could you do that? Well, what do I know? The, the engineer said, well, boys, you can see, this guy has experience. Yeah, yeah. And so I never You never had car. to drive it? I drove a car from the garage uh -huh. and the yard and back, but uh -huh. not on the street. Not on the roads no. and the testing on the corners yeah. and such? Nothing. Huh. Nothing. What about a hunting license over there? If you went to get a hunting license, would, could you, could you like uh, we do here, could you go up to a store and buy a hunting license no, and go hunting? No, not in the old country. Oh. In the old country, when you take a hunting license, you had to be, you go sometimes through an experience with, with, mm -hmm. the, with the guy who is in charge there. Mm -hmm. And he asks you all kinds of questions. He, mm -hmm. He's a family of mine. Are those friends? No. My dad. Those are the, that's the rice girl there, yeah. Okay, that's somebody else that just pulled up outside. Yeah. There's your dad, huh? Yeah. Did you ever wear a mustache like that? No, no. No. My dad was, he swore three Kaisers in, in, in the old country when he was in the army. There was three Kaisers on the throne. One was on there for 99 days. <laughs> yeah? Was on there only from, for a short time. Yeah. And the, the old Kaiser and Kaiser Bill. And he was the first guard re regiment. He was so proud of it, wasn't even funny. Uh, nobody ever said anything against the Kaiser, so he might as well leave the house. That's the Brewmaster Bull. Oh, in Alberta? No, in Saskatchewan. Oh. My first job. Good grief.
Did you do? Did you like to work, play with swords, or was that just a joke? No, Dad did. Dad did these on the picnic. This, oh, with a couple of sticks. Yeah, yeah. They both couldn't fight. They couldn't fight. That was just a a joke. A yeah, joke yeah, picture yeah. making. Yeah. I mean, none of them they had any experience. Yeah. This is my son with his family. Jan from Calvert. What's his name? Jan. John. Jan. Yeah. Jan. Jan. Yeah. 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 Huh. His wife and his three kids. There's the big one, the big girl, and the two little ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is a mother on the two little ones and the, the doctor, the oldest. Well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Your yeah. your grandkids and all? Yeah. You know, that's what makes life worthwhile. Yeah, well, I... But now, since I'm sick, I can't go there anymore. And things slow down a little bit. Yeah, but you're going to get well. We hope so. <laughs> sure you are. I'm going to fight it. <laughs> sure, sure. You know what? You said your memory was gone? Yeah. Baloney. Yeah, but when I, once <laughs> I come in there... It, it starts going. Sure. But then when I be... Rushed, right? Rushed. Or yeah, so yeah. See, on, on the, the doctor says, that comes all back after. Sure. So yeah. I, I hope so. When it doesn't come back to helmet. This was my, on the farm, you know, my little pony. Did you like horses? Oh, I was crazy. Horse crazy. Yeah. I couldn't get rid of that horse till I moved back to, to Alberta. I like your hat. Yeah. That's a good hat. Cut. You poked it up in the air and made it pointed, right? <laughs> <laughs> the rain oh, falls off horse, then. That horse, this was a farmer boy. Yeah, yeah. And he wanted to beat me in racing. Mm -hmm. That horse raced the whole country. There was nobody who could beat him. Yeah. Well, look at how proud that horse is. Yeah, Can look you at see? Look you at see the way he holds his head and his yeah. neck? Look at that. That's the a proud horse, it. yeah. Oh, yeah. Prince, I called him Prince. Prince, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that your first horse, or...? That was my first horse. In the best. Yeah, the best. Had, yeah. I raced. I won all the races. I made two fifteen dollars on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. That was a big money. But you could make only uh, twelve dollars a month. And you made days. you made thirty dollars. I made fifteen dollars on prizes on on one Sunday. <laughs> you know, yeah. With that, with that little horse. Yeah. Where did you get the horse? Did it you buy it from somebody? No, it, yes. When I went north, you know, um, it was a wild horse run with a wild Oh, bump. yeah, yeah. And I picked him out. Mm -hmm. And I tamed him and uh, broke him in mm -hmm. as a saddle horse. Mm -hmm. the, the gentle way. Mm -hmm. And he was such a proud thing. When he walked over the street, he held his head so high that people say, Look at that horse. Everybody looked at it. Yeah, him. that's why he was a prince, right? Yeah. That's why you called him prince. That's why I called him prince. Yeah, he held himself royal. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, that I is. Like I like that. Did you ever take that horse hunting or trapping or, or anything like that I with you? I shot a couple of times from him. Yeah? But he, he was he didn't like jittery. That. Yeah. Jittery. So I, I, I didn't do it anymore. And I kind of, I figured I might have an accident or so. Mm -hmm. You know what I did one time? Yeah. A guy said to me, okay, you take this horse. He's nice and gentle. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know how that happens. Nine times out of ten, it's the worst horse in the bunch. He doesn't run or ride it, so he yeah. gives it to you, okay? Yeah. So anyway, he said, here, you take this horse. He's gentle. So we were going hunting up on Lodestone Mountain up here. Yeah. And I said, okay, better than walking, you know. Yeah. So I got to get on top of him, yeah. and I had my rifle, mm -hmm. and he'd been shot off of next to his ears when he was, you know, somebody taking a shot off of him, yeah. and he was spooky about rifles, oh. and he knew, and he, you know what he did? He yeah. started to whirl yeah. in place, yeah. just like that, and that rifle was killing me. It was on my back, yeah. and it was thumping me. The barrel was hitting me in the back of the yeah. head, and the butt was hitting me in the small of the back. And it was just flying around that oh, right. I and I thought, listen, this has got to stop. <laughs> the horse wasn't going to stop, so I jumped off. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, was I black and blue? Oh. And, and they, they were in Alberta years ago. The farmer was crazy about boy breaking horses. Mm -hmm. And when he broke a horse, that was always not the gentle way. It was the wild uh, way. Hard way. Put, put an old horse on a, on a wagon and a bunker. The new one, yeah. The new one, besides yeah. an old one. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, go around in the field with the wagon and have that old horse to the inside, you know, and the bunker to the outside. It was a, 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 a brutal, brutal way. Huh? Yeah, on one day, there was a Bible student. I never forget him. Fellow with a quite a bully. Yeah. He says, after we were finished, the horse stood there. The ringing wetter, the water was just running down. And he went here on that horse and slapped him on the hind end. Oh, you no. know? Yeah. And in, in that minute, that second, yeah. he got a head from the horse right in and the his belly. Yeah. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I couldn't help but laughing, <laughs> but it wasn't laughing. Yeah. He was down, you know. Yeah. On, uh, he couldn't breathe for a while. Well, he got two minutes. <laughs> but uh, some crazy ideas, you know. Sure. The I horse was the horse was tired and yeah. upset. I never would have done such. <laughs> thing. Yeah. I mean, they were they were the, all the all the horses had to be broken the wild way. I broke my pony the gentle way. And that's why he had spirit still mm -hmm. uh, when when he was getting a little older. Mm -hmm. No, I liked him. And I he liked and he liked you. Oh, he was beautiful. Yeah. The way he walked downtown, you know, everybody looked at the, at the horse. You saw farmer horses come downtown, but he, the way he walked, mm -hmm. you know, his head in the air, and he was just a prince. Mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. why I called him mm -hmm. prince. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, I think this is enough for today, these are sure. stories. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I sure like. Uh, it's uh, fun to to think back on him too, though. You oh know, yes. There's your picture of yeah. your dad there. He looks like he was a proud man. My father. Yeah. He was a big man, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What rank did he make in the army? Was he a sergeant or a? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. That's all. He didn't. He he had to go three years. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. And then the last year he was a sergeant. And anybody talked about the Kaiser <laughs> or said something about yeah, the Kaiser yeah. bad, he might as well leave house. <laughs> he wasn't welcome. No, absolutely. Yeah, My dad yeah. was an old person when it came to such things. You know. Today is November 20th. We just got through playing a little bit of the last conversation we had. Well, you know, I don't know whether it's ever going to be winter. Well, I hope it stays that way. Yeah. You know, I had a feeling like, uh, and it started up this year. Well, the whole summer was fun. Yeah. You know, and uh, I had a definitely feeling that we get a mild winter. Yeah. Do you believe in those signs, like they say, that if you see a beaver, where the beavers are working? Oh yes, I believe. And in squirrels. That. Yeah. They pile up more food for the winter, yeah. and they haven't done that this year. I know. At least I haven't seen any. No, I, I, I believe in that kind of yeah. talk. Well, people, people watch this for years, you know, especially Indians. They know more about these things than we do. Yeah, that's for sure. Did you ever uh, notice on horses that they got more hair on them when it was winter? Yeah, well, winter? no, that is. Uh, that's not true. No. A horse, when a horse is outside, yeah. all winter, yeah. it gets automatically long hair. Mm -hmm. But there is no difference between uh, a horse or... Not that... But one horse has, has short hair and goes in the winter, and one has long hair. See, they automatically get the hair long. I know I... Mine doesn't grow any longer when it's going to be cold no, winter. No, for <laughs> sure not. But I was on a ranch, I see, I seen it. Yeah. Know. Well, you told me what I thought was really interesting last time was about how you built that 
hole of yours yeah. in the north? The and holes? you didn't have any nails? No, not a single one. That is amazing. I don't know if I could build something without nails. Yeah, well, you can. I had a special drill. Mm -hmm. I still got that uh, someplace, yeah. you know. It's a Cornish one. And then with that drill, I made all these nails, uh, the wooden nails. You know. What kind of wood would you use to make it? Well, what, what I could find there. Oh, there wasn't anything special? No. no. Is I the house still standing? I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. And then you squared off all the locks. Yeah, well, I squared, no, not on my house. Oh. I squared the locks on, the, on my boss's house. Yeah. You know, I made them all square. And then you could pile them up on the top and it was absolutely straight. Yeah. It was a big shaft. You know, you had the special X for that. The broad X. Yeah. yeah. But that was a big job. But, but we had time. There was more time than money. You know. You'd when spend maybe ten minutes making a nail, huh? Yeah. <laughs> when, I built, when I built my house, the funny part is that the door I built, you know, that was a Cornish, Cornish affair. The door closed nicely, yeah. but not like our doors. No, she, she came against against the top, you know, and that top was cut out, you know. Like, not Have you got a pencil? Here, you can show me. But you told me you used leather hinges on it. Yeah, well, that, that was from old, old shoes that I found. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Old boots and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you're going to draw me a picture of how that door worked. It was an ordinary square door. Huh? Yeah, sure. But, but the the end usually you, on the end of the door it fits in into a lock. But I had no lock, so I had to make a Cornish fit. You know. Oh. Right. So you just pull the door. You pulled the door. Pulled it. You didn't swing it. No, I, it was to swing. Oh. Okay. The hinges I I got from from all leather yeah. stuff that yeah. I found. But the, the instead of a square fit, it was a conish fit, you know. Oh, oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I instead, if here, I'll draw. It. Instead of the door fitting like this, the door fit like that. Yeah. Off a little bit. It yeah. wasn't square to it. it was no, off. no, it wasn't square. It, 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 yeah. Okay. Cornish, Cornish shit. Yeah, you know. yeah. And, and I had to fill it when it was airtight. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, it wouldn't be buttoned up like that. No. It'd be like this. No. Yeah, there'd be an opening in yeah. there. Yeah, well, there was no opening. And the corner said, was in it. Oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. I filled that bit most of the time. Yeah. Good. Well, you had to use your head or freeze, no, huh? No, otherwise, you had to do nothing. You'd freeze, wouldn't you? Absolutely. But when you when you want to do something and want to make something, you can do it. You only have to be passive. You, you told me you dabbed the logs with uh, straw and mud. You yeah. put between the logs. Oh yeah. Straw and mud. Yeah, well, there was uh, hay. Yeah. Mostly hay, pieces of hay. Mm -hmm. But I collected mm -hmm. from an old hay stack or so. You know, but I had I had some pieces myself. And you chopped it up? Chopped it up and picked it up, yeah. you know, put it in that clay mm -hmm. and made it with a good job. And it stayed there. And it stood there and it, could, uh, it was, was really tight. You know what I heard some people do? Yeah. They used uh, flour and water to put paper on the inside on their walls. Yeah. And the mice came along. 
and eat the flour. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and all they did was attract a whole bunch of mice because it didn't like that glue that they had on the flour. Yeah, I, I had no faith on the wall. I had no, no floor in. But you'd be surprised how, how nice the floor, how straight the floor is going to get from walking on it. You know. And then brush it away with an old broom or the one yeah. I had there. Yeah. The broom made from from brush, you know. Uh, from yeah, little bushes, little yeah. bushes. Yeah. And you just swept it out. Yeah, sure. And it was a mud floor. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that cold? Mud no, floor? no. Did it warm up and then stay warm? It was. There was so such a pile against the house piled from the outside, but I could find nothing came to the inside. I mean, it's hard, hard uh, that a, that a, a, a floor or a ground freezes when you've got a house on the top, you know. Yeah. What did you use for stove? An old, uh, I had an old stove there. I picked that up uh, on another homestead. Yeah, you borrowed it. No, well, the fellow was moved out. Yeah, you know, right, yeah. So I took it. Yeah. It was a uh, when that stove was burning uh, full speed. Mm -hmm. It was vibrating. You know, <laughs> it shook. Any minute, I figured it fall apart. Yeah, you know, yeah. explode. Mm -hmm. And you had a stove pipe, did you? Yeah, a pipe going to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's very old. Yeah. I got that all better. There were so many homesteads where people left, you know, they never came hard. back. Not they too hard. Make it. But <coughs> I wouldn't have stood there neither. On account of, uh, I couldn't handle it. I mean, I got so sick and tired of living like a hermit. You know. He's in your, in your horse stuck his head through the door? Through, the, through that half door. Yeah. That was a lock. The, the locks was cut out. See, only the half was cut out. The rest of it was. And Prince would come over there and visit with you. Yeah, sure. Stick his head in. I'll bet you didn't mind that at all either, huh? On account of you be alone. Yeah. You never seen the person. Yeah. There was a guy, a neighbor. Supposed to be a neighbor, maybe three or four miles away. But the guy, when they ever met, when you met him, he never looked at you. He talked out of the way, never looked in your face, and I didn't like that. I thought he was a, some, he had some kind of a criminal affair that I had his neck. That he uh, didn't want to look in his face. Yeah. That was the only neighbor I remember. <coughs> and then the Indian came around, you know, not half, half Indian. I told him, I says, when you ever shoot that deer, I'm going to kill you. You that deer? Well, there was a deer came with a, with a bunch of cows. Oh, he joined the herd. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but he never, he did shoot. But I couldn't prove nothing. But he has shot it, I'm sure. There was a pet of it. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, when a wild animal trusts you, yeah, and it comes up to you. You don't like to shoot it. No, I the the deer. What a young calves. And he was friends. Full down, full down, just like yeah, a couple of puppies. Of things, you yeah, know. right. Yeah. And uh, I didn't like on on the calves and all that stuff. I was all wild. There was nothing there. I don't know who they belong to, but I think most of them, the animals used to belong to my former boss, who I worked for, who I lived at house for. And they just went wild? Yeah, well, there, there's nobody there. And then they harvested them in the fall, they were all the moment. Well, they take them around, and the, them days the calf or the cow cost one dollar, two dollars. What, what year was that? The 30s? The 30s? Yeah. It was nothing. It cost nothing. 
A dollar for the cat and the cop? Yeah, yeah sure. They, they're each wife. She says, why do you run after these worthless animals? And he likes to saddle his horse yeah. on, on the Take uh, a rounded, rope. rounded up the yeah. and lasso. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he rounded up the, yeah. uh, to see the, what he got, you know. And she says, they're worthless. The cow costs only five dollars when you ever get a good five dollars for it. And that would be good if you got five dollars. And uh, so she, uh, she raised came with him. <laughs> Well, I don't blame her. It was the truth, you know. Cattle, the, the herd of cattle he owned, I forget now how many. I think we had about 1,000 cats. They were, they were nothing worse. Where was that? Uh, in northern Alberta? Yeah. What, what place would that be near? Well, uh, north of Bonneville. That isn't near uh, Cold Lake. Yeah, that's near Cold Lake. Is it Cold Lake? Yeah. 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 That's near Cold Lake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
remember the stories of Roots anymore. It was too long time ago. There's so many stories. Uh, oh, well, I maybe I can trigger your memory. Maybe I can click your memory. Yeah. Uh, Did you ever have a dog? When you were, or just the horses? Horses. Yeah. You never had a dog? No, not nothing. I had a dog later. But I was here in Canada. Did you know that Bob had a dog? You know Bob or me had his dog? Yeah. Oh, did he love that little dog? Yeah, but he was crazy. <laughs> I would have shot the dog back time ago. Why, was it a crazy dog? Ah. Uh, you know, I saw a Bob fish in an omelette. Yeah, yeah. And he pulled out a fish from the dog, he grabbed the fish and wanted to get away with it. You know? Yeah. yeah. And Bob says, what was the name of the dog? Oh, you could hear him for miles, yeah, you know. Yeah. Call the dog, call the dog. Plus. So one of the fish I got, yeah. and you could, the teeth mark I could see from the dog, you know, was a back mark on the fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. But Bob only's dog was funny. That was the most funny story I ever went to. Yeah. He shouted at the dog, and then, what did he do? He, the dog bit him in the, in the face. Do you remember that? Huh? Yeah. And I called if he wants to cut his nails, his uh, oh. toenails. Yeah. <laughs> they got too long. Yeah. And uh, the dog turned around and bit him in the face here. <laughs> they hit the mark. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't yeah. puncture it. Though. No. You know, a dog can do that. They can grab your skin yeah. and apply just enough pressure to make it hurt. Yeah. And yeah. it won't go through. Their teeth yeah, won't but go it was bloody mark. Well, yeah. Was it a bloody mark? But, but serious. Yeah. yeah, what was that dog but name? Uh, dog said, uh, Bob said one time coming off the mountain about the wrong way. Yeah. The coyotes were chasing the dog. Chasing the dog? Yeah. He went up to play. Oh. And he was growling and all like that. Yeah. And pretty soon down the hill he came. Just leaping. And, it was a small dog. Yeah, I know. Just leaping and huge know. bounds. And these two coyotes were right on his tail. And he was going, no, no, no. <laughs> and heading down for Bob down the hill. But uh, you see, the coyote is usually too jealous to go after a dog. Or well, he they kill it. Yeah, well, he, he, he hasn't got the, the guts oh. to go after a dog. Yeah, you don't have the coyote. Coyote, uh, Only when a coyote is in the corner, yeah. the corner, when a dog is, then he's then most he'll dangerous. Fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why coyotes live such a long time. Uh, I have seen uh, uh, coyotes buzzing the sheep, killed most sheep. So the farmer got so mad and sent the dog in, in that chicken coop. Of course, not first, he sent the dog in. And the dog, he started howling, that was not even funny, and came out again with a tail between his legs. You know, scared, I think it's the coyote got was corners, you know, and they are dangerous, I tell you. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Well, no, you I'm know, if the reason the grizzly bears disappear yeah. is he's brave. The grizzly bear is a brave animal, yeah. a courageous animal. And so when a man comes around, the grizzly bear will come out sometimes yeah. and look at him. And the man has a rifle. The coyote stays away from man, yeah. runs, so he's going to live because he's he's a cowardly and he runs away. The coyote runs away, but he never he never runs more than 100 yards. Then he stood and looked out. Oh, then he goes. Then he stands again. Yeah. And looks out. Yeah. He always looks in the back of somebody's collar. They're smart. I, I watch many times. They're smart. But I think they'll be coyotes as long as there's man. They're they're able to live with man. They're smart enough. Well, uh, uh, funny beast of animal, like 